Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, more states have joined in support of Texas as well as what might be the uh, candidate for president for the Republican Party in this year's election. Before I jump into it, real quick, if you are interested in uh, like stabilizing your own savings and interested in buying precious metals, gold and silver, check out Lear Capital. Uh, they're standing by to answer your questions. You can hit the website, leargg.com, or hit the uh, phone number. It's 1-800-260-5075. That's where I buy my stuff. Uh, they have helped me tremendously, and uh, they will yourself as well. It's leargg.com. Again, the number, 1-800-260-5075. Thanks to Lear Capital for sponsoring the video. And I wanted to tell you, I told you in the video I did this morning. I'm currently record recording this at 7 p.m. Pacific, so it's already very late in the eastern uh, part of the country, so I'll probably release this in the morning. Uh, but there were great movements today related to what's going on at the border crisis in Texas. If you haven't seen my previous video, please watch that. There are states that have stepped up in support of Texas, securing the border, and stopping the unabated flow of illegal immigration, Im illegal immigration purposely by the Joe Biden administration. Texas has uh, elected to uh, declare an invasion under the Constitution and is doing everything they can uh, to secure the state and to keep the state, uh, I guess, a state because they're trying to destroy this country. Uh, so more states have joined. This morning it was 15. It is now 26, which is good. We still need some more. So pressure your governors if your governor is not on this list. First, I want to show you this a letter, a statement that was made by the states that are supporting Texas. Uh, it's pretty cool to see, guys and gals, but I will say this. Uh, what is not cool is that this is a constitutional test. This is a constitutional crisis. Uh, this very, very easily, like I said this morning, could be something that there's no coming back from. Uh, here's the letter on the screen. It says, President Biden and his administration have left Americans and our country completely vulnerable to unprecedented illegal immigration pouring across the southern border. Instead of upholding the rule of law and securing the border, the Biden administration has attacked and sued Texas for stepping up to protect American citizens from historic levels of illegal immigration, deadly drugs like fentanyl, and terrorists entering our country. We stand in solidarity with our fellow governor, Greg Abbott, and the state of Texas in utilizing every tool and strategy, including razor wire fences, to secure the border. We do it in part because the Biden administration is refusing to enforce immigration laws already on the books and is illegally allowing mass parole across America of migrants who entered our country illegally. The authors of the United States Constitution made clear that in times like this, states have a right of self-defense under Article 4, Section 4, and Article 1, Section 10, Clause 3 of the United States Constitution. Because the Biden administration has abdicated its constitutional compact duties to the states, Texas has every legal justification to protect the sovereignty of our states and our nation. And this is signed as of this morning by Governor K. Ivey, Alabama, Governor Mike Dunleavy, Alaska, Governor Sarah Sanders, Arkansas, Governor Ron DeSantis, Florida, Governor Brian Kemp, Georgia, Governor Brad Little, Idaho, Governor Eric Holcomb, Indiana, Governor Kim Reynolds of Iowa, Governor Jeff Landry, Louisiana, Governor Tate Reeves, Mississippi, Governor Mike Parsons, Missouri, Governor Greg Gianfort in Montana, Greg Pillen, Nebraska, Joe Lombardo, Nevada, Chris Sununu, New Hampshire, Doug Burgum, New North Dakota, Mike DeWine, Ohio, Kevin Stitt, Oklahoma, Henry McMaster, South Carolina, Christy Nome, South Dakota, Bill Lee, Tennessee, Spencer Cox, Utah, Glenn Youngkin, Virginia, Jim Justice, West Virginia, and Mark Gordon, Wyoming. Now, what does Article 1, Section 4 even say? Well, here it is says the United States shall guarantee to every state in this union a Republican form of government and shall protect each of them against invasion and on application of the legislature or of the executive when the legislature cannot be convened against domestic violence. 
But then we heard from uh, the Donald, and I have to not say this is how the craziness of what we the world we live in right now. If I say his last name, it affects the channel getting suppressed. It's crazy. Uh, but this is what he said on uh, Truth Social. He says, when I was president, we had the most secure border in history. Joe Biden has surrendered our border and is aiding and abetting a massive invasion of millions of illegal immigrants into the United States. Instead of fighting to protect our country from this onslaught, Biden is unbelievably fighting to tie the hands of Governor Abbott and the state of Texas so that the invasion continues unchecked. In the face of this national security, public safety, and public health catastrophe, Texas has rightly invoked the Invasion Clause of the Constitution and must be given full support to repeal the invasion. He continued, We encourage all willing states to deploy their guards to Texas to prevent the entry of illegals and to remove them back across the border. All Americans should support the common sense measures by Texas authorities to protect the safety, security, and sovereignty of Texas and of the American people. When I am president on day one, instead of fighting Texas, I will work hand-in-hand -hand with Governor Abbott and other border states to stop the invasion, seal the border, and rapidly begin the largest domestic deportation operation in history. Those Biden has let in should not get comfortable because they will be going home. So this is a point in history where uh, there will be books written about. Half the country is supporting the state of Texas. Half the country yet to make their mind up. My question, if you live, if you're in a state or you don't side with what Texas is doing, are you really American? Feelings aside, because nobody cares about your feelings. You either have a country or you don't. And if your governor isn't one that's already... Uh, said that they will stand by Texas and support them, you need to find out why. Because their actions put you at risk. Guys and gals, this is the most recent update. If things change, I will come back to you for it. Uh, if you want to stay in the loop, subscribe to the channel down below, and I will do that. Turn the bell notification on so you'll notif be notified of when I put out new content or go live. Thank you. Appreciate you, America. Let's keep America, America. And because we're facing what we're facing, please be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Yes, keep everybody safe. That's what we're looking to do. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.